Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and this is part one of the software tour of the Verizon XV6900. We're going to take a look at the programs that are included on the device, and in part two, we're going to take a look at touch flow, including flick scrolling and other touch enhancements. Now, I could use the stylus to operate the device, but hey, it's an HTC Touch, so why don't I use my finger? So let's start here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is the HTC Home Today screen. The HTC Home plugin is a good Today screen enhancement. On the first tab, we have access to our messaging, so we can go right to our email, or we can go right to our text messaging. And over here, we can go to our missed calls. On the second tab, we can go to weather, and here I'm in Philadelphia, 75 degrees, and if you click this right arrow, we get a four-day forecast. The next tab over, we have an application launcher, and you can add, add applications by clicking the plus button, and it'll bring you to a list. And finally, we have a profile selector. So if you want to leave your phone on vibrate, if you're in a meeting, or turn off the ringer completely, you can do it from there. Also down here, we have a button, a shortcut to the phone. And I really like this phone skin. Um, the buttons are large, so you can use your finger to, to type numbers. We have a link to call history. If we go to the second button here, we can do a device lock. So right now I can't do anything with the device because it's locked, and to unlock it, I press unlock down here and then press unlock again on the screen. Usually, though, I just press the power button on the top of the device to shut it off so that I don't accidentally press a button. In the center here, we have another link to messaging, although we have one over here as well. I don't understand why we need two. If we click on the shopping cart, we go to mobile.handango.com if we want to buy some software for our device. Looks like Verizon has a deal with Handango. And to the right, we have the photo gallery, which is much better than this, the default photo gallery for Windows Mobile, and we're going to talk, talk about that in part two of the video. Now, if you notice in the upper right corner, we have the HTC Task Manager. It's fantastic. As you know, with Windows Mobile devices, when you press the X in the upper right corner, it doesn't actually close the program. Well, with this, we can set, using the little wrench picture, it'll bring us to a setting that will allow us to have the button end the program. The way I have it now is, is if I want to end a program, you have to tap and hold the X. Otherwise, it just goes into hibernation mode. So if you want to see how much program memory you have, or if you want to close some programs so that you get back some program memory, you can do it from this task manager here. Okay, so let's go into programs. As you can see, it's operating quite well with just the touch of a finger. We have Office Mobile, and it includes OneNote Mobile. Going down the list, we have Adobe Reader for PDFs, uh, Camera Communication Manager, which actually is dressed up quite nicely. So you, here, if you're going on an airplane, you can turn off all your connections. You can turn on Bluetooth. It doesn't have Wi-Fi. The XV6900, unfortunately, does not have Wi-Fi. So you, that's why you don't find it in the, the communication manager. Um, Mobi, Mobi TV doesn't come on the device. I downloaded that separately. Modem link is for tethering to your laptop or your desktop if you want to get an internet connection through the EBDO radio on the device. Going down some more, we have a running programs application, which is basically the same as the HTC Task Manager. Just looks a little bit different. Um, we have Voice Speed Dial, which unfortunately has to be trained. It's not Microsoft Voice Command. And if we go down further, we have Wireless Sync, which is kind of like Microsoft Exchange, but for people that don't have it. I don't like using that because you have to install a program on your desktop in order to get the wireless sync, which lets you sync your email, contacts, and calendar data, that sort of thing. And on the bottom, we have an application to make zip files. So that's pretty much it in programs. Let's go into settings. Okay, let's go to the top. Standard, standard, and here's something that's different. Large start menu. As it is set now, the start menu has large buttons, good for touch. So if we want to take that off and perhaps use the stylus, you can make it smaller and fit more programs there. But I like to have it on the large start menu so that I can use my finger. Going down the list, uh, everything else is pretty much standard except here, voice speed dial. This is where you go to train the uh, voice speed dial. And unfortunately, you have to do it one by one, and that's a very tedious process. I'd rather just use Microsoft Voice Command. Here on the System tab, everything is pretty much standard. Uh, error, error reporting, 
hard to say. Make sure you have that turned off. It slows down your device. Going down the list, here's something different. Long press end key. This will specify what happens when you press the end button down here. So as it's set now, if I press the end button, I get what's called the quick list. So here I can lock the device or end the data connection to save battery life, turn on vibrate, or if we go to settings, it will take you right back to the long key press dialog box. We can also have it do other things like lock the device or, well, pretty much anything you see in the quick list. I'll leave that as default. Going down the list, we have a setting for touch flow, but we're going to go through that later in part two of the video. Let's go to memory, see how much we have free. Right now, we still have plenty of memory free, even though we're running a lot of programs, 48 megabytes, so that's good. And back up to the top, and let's go to the connections tab. Nothing unique, this device does not, unfortunately, have integrated GPS. In the next video, we're going to talk about flick scrolling and all of the other touch enhancements that HTC brings with the Verizon XV6900. That's it for now.